Good morning friends. Welcome to Pannika Tutorials YouTube channel. In the last video, I have discussed one example on SLR1 parser. I hope you have watched that video. If you did not watch that video, go back to this video and watch that video and come back to this video for better understanding. In this video, I want to discuss another example on SLR1 parser. So I request everyone to watch the complete video. First, let me check what is this grammar, what is the terminal and what is the non-terminal. Then I will construct the LR0 items. Then I will construct the SLR1 parsing table. So they have given a grammar as A determines A open braces A, closed braces or A. So what is the non-terminals for this grammar? The non-terminals are only capital A. Because the symbols which are there in the left hand side of every production will come in the non-terminals. And what is the terminal? The terminal is open braces, closed braces and small a. So these are the three terminals. And what is the start symbol? The start symbol is a itself. Now what should I do? I need to construct the LR0 items. For constructing the LR0 items, what I will do, I will take a one augmented production and compute the closure of it. So a dash determines dot a. So what it will do, I need to compute the closure of it dot open braces a or dot a. So this is my item number 0. Is it clear? I hope it is visible for you. It is I0. Now on A, what will happen? Okay, on A it will be A dash determines A dot. So this is your item number 1. Okay, are you able to understand from I naught on go to on A, it will be A dash determines A dot. And after dot nothing is there. So I and note non-terminal is there so I no need to compute the closure and it is completed. Now we need to compute go to on open braces. What will happen? It is A determines open braces dot A. Am I right or wrong? Now after dot a non-terminal is there so you need to compute the closure. What is the closure? Write the productions of A and keep dot in front of that one. Am I right or wrong? Is it clear? So if you look at it, this is your I2, item number 2. Okay. And then you have A. From each item, dot after that whatever is there, you need to compute the go to. So on A it is, A determines a dot it is your item number three is it clear so this is reduced this is reduced now we need to come to the item number i2 item number i2 on a what will happen we will see on a it will be a dash, sorry a determines open braces a dot closed braces and after that, there is a terminal, so you no need to compute the closure. So, this is completed. Am I right? On A, this is completed and I can say that this is your item number 4. Now, if you look at this one on open braces, what happening? On open braces, it is A determines open braces dot A again on a you need to compute the closure which is dot a or a now look at it whether it is equal to i2 or not if you look at it a determines open braces dot a closed braces yes it is there a determines open dot open braces a closed braces it is there or dot a is there so this is equal to I2, okay. This is equal to I2. Instead of giving a new name, 
you can say that it is equal to I2. Okay. On small a, what it will be? On small a, it will be a determines a dot, which is equal to I3. So, you can directly write here as I3. So, from I2, on capital A, we have defined. On open braces, we have written the go to. On A, we have written the go to. Now, this one, we need to finish it. Okay. From I4, on closed braces, which is A determines open braces A, closed braces and you got the dot. So, this is your I term number I5. Is it clear? So, if you look at it, I started from I0, I computed on A, on open braces, on small A. Done. I1 is reduced when you need to compute further. Coming to the I2, on A we have computed, on open braces, on small a we have defined. And on I3, on A we have got it and this is the completed move, so we no need to go further. So I got the I4, A determines open braces A dot closed braces, so on closer means on closed braces I have computed the go to and I got the I5. Now, this is a reduced one. I no need to compute further. Is it clear? So, I got the LR0 items. Once you got the LR0 items, the next thing is that we need to compute the SLR1 parsing table. In the SLR1 parsing table, we will have the items and we will have the action part and we will have the go to part. Let me write all of them. We will have the items, action and go to. What is the items will consist of list of items. Am I right or wrong? And what is the action part consists of set of terminals. What are the terminals are there? You have open braces, you have closed braces, you have A and you need to add the dollar. Okay. This is the set of terminals from the given grammar and what is the go to part consists of go to part consists of set of non terminals so we have only one non terminal which is a and we will write the items as i0 i1 i2 i3 i4 i5 so totally we got the six items Okay, so now let me fill the table. I naught on A it went to I1. So on A I need to write it as 1. Am I right or wrong? Then I naught on open braces it is I2. So on open braces I should write it as S2. Shift 2. Okay, I naught on A it went to I3 where A is a terminal so on A it went to S3 shift 3 so I0 is finished come to I1 I1 is a reduced move am I right or wrong so A dash determines A dot so what I have to do I have to keep it in the dollar as accept why I am writing it as accept because it is an augmented production okay now come to the I3. I3 is a what? Is a reduced move. So where I should keep? I should keep this reduced move and let me write the production numbers. This is my production number 1 and this is my production number 2. So A determines small a. I need to write the reduced move in the SLR1 table. Where I will write? I will write it in the follow of A. Follow of A is dollar look at it this grammar is now consists of a dash determines dot a sorry a dash determines let me write a then a determines this is your grammar am i right or wrong so let me compute the follow of each one follow of a dash is as it is a start symbol we'll have the dollar and a dash is not there in the right hand side, 
So I will have only the dollar in the follow. Let me compute the follow of A. Follow of A is follow of A dash which is dollar and look at where A is there in the right hand side. Here A is there in the right hand side again. Here it is there, here it is there. From here we got that follow of A is follow of A dash and from here what is the next symbol is there for that one we need to compute the first. So if I compute the first of a terminal, the terminal itself. So at the dollar and the closed braces we need to write the R2 from I3 on dollar I will write R2 and the closed braces I will write the R2. If it was LR0 parsing table I would have written here also and here also means in the action part entirely all the terminals I would have written the reduce move. Okay, now come to the I2. I2 on capital A it went to I4. So on go to we should write it as 4. Is it clear? Now I2 of open braces it is I2. I2 on open braces it is S2. Okay. I2 on A it is going to I3 so I will write it as S3. So we have written on the A, we have written on the open braces, we have written on the A. Is it clear? So I2 is finished. Come to the I4. I4 is what is a not a reduced move. Am I right? So we have to write I4 on closed braces where it went. It went to I5, so let me write it as S5, okay, I4 is completed. Now come to the I5, I5 is what is a reduced move, what is the production number, production number is 1, where I should write, I should write it in the follow of A, follow of A is what, dollar and closed braces, at closed braces I should write R1, at the dollar I should write R1, so this is the SLR1 parsing table for the given grammar. Now what I will do is that I will take a small example and I will discuss the parsing procedure also so that you will understand it in a better way. Let me take a string which can be generated from this grammar. Okay. This is the string which can be generated from this grammar. Okay. At the string we will keep the dollar. So what I will do is that I have to take this tag. Okay, let me write it here. I have the stack and I have the input buffer and I have whatever the operation I am performing or what is the action I am performing. Okay, is it clear? Now the stack will be initially consists of dollar and the input buffer will consist of whatever the input you are taking and extra you will keep the dollar to know the end of the string and the input pointer is pointing currently this one and the stack will be pushed the initial one as zero i zero item number zero okay now look at it zero on open braces it is going to s2 okay I0 on open braces it is S2 so which is nothing but shift 2 so if it is shift 2 write it here shift 2 so whatever it is there in the input buffer that you need to push it in to the stack and you need to write the number as 2 now your input pointer will be pointing to A and you have the closed braces and you have the dollar now 2 on A, I2 on A it is written as S3. So write the action as shift 3. Shift 3 means whatever the input pointer is pointing that you need to push it into the stack and then also you need to push the item number as 3. Now your input pointer is pointing to the closure basis and you have the dollar. Now 3 on I3, okay this is nothing but item number 3 i3 on closed braces what it is written reduced move to r2 what is the production a determines a am i right or wrong is it clear so you can take this one and 
will construct the parsing tree also it is written as reduced move or reduced to am i right or wrong first what i have to do i have to need to compute the number of symbols in the right side it is one symbol is there so 1 into 2 so two elements from the stack need to be popped what are the two elements this one and this one i will pop from the stack so which is nothing but 0 open braces and you will have the 2 okay and then we need to push the symbol which is there in the left hand side 2 is there and now i2 on a i2 on a it is written as 4 you push that element okay now what is the pointer is pointing it is pointing to this one only and you have the dollar so now your pointer is pointing to this one and you have reduced this a to a are you able to understand it or not so this is the parsing tree it will come okay now you look at it 4 i4 on closed braces what it is i4 on closed braces it was written as shift 5 write the action shift 5 if it is shift 5 means whatever the input pointer is pointing that you need to push it into the stack and also you need to push the corresponding item now your input pointer is pointing to the dollar okay is it clear so now your input pointer is pointing to this dollar okay am i right or wrong you can understand like this also now i5 on dollar i5 on dollar it was written as r1 r1 means production number one okay now first thing we need to compute Count the number of symbols in the right hand side. 1, 2, 3. So, 3 into 2, 6 elements we need to pop from the stack. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, if I pop all the 6 elements, then I will have the 0. Okay. And once I pop them, what I have to do? I need to push the symbol which is there in the left hand side. Now, 0 on A. I 0 on A it is 1 so fill it that one and you have the dollar so now what you are doing this one this one and this one combinedly you are reducing to a is it clear are you able to understand it or not now look at it 1 on dollar i1 on dollar it is accept here we are doing the reduce 1 this is accept so once you got the accept then we can terminate the parsing process and whatever the parse tree we got this is the parse tree for the given grammar for the given string i hope you have understood from the given grammar how i computed the lr0 items and then slr1 parsing table using the parsing table and the stack data structure how i computed the parsing process and the parsing tree if you still have any doubts related to this concept, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear your doubts in less than 24 hours. Thank you for watching my video. Have a nice day.